my god, connecting flight? Let's talk about this. What's up guys? Thank you for watching this video. My name is G. I'm the blogger behind ExoticPhilippines.info and in this YouTube channel, we'll talk about travel, destinations, and a lot more. And of course, flights pala. <laughs> and a lot more. But in this video, we're going to talk about connecting flights. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up, lalo na if very helpful sa inyo. And let me know in the comment section below kasi nasisiyan ako pag sinabi niyo na nakatulong ako. <laughs> Actually, you don't, you don't need to do that. Pero, pag uh, nasasihan naman ako sa mga comments ninyo, lalo na sinasabi niyo na nakakatulong sa inyo at nakarating kayo sa dapat yung puntahan at naka-idea ako, kayo, na paano lumipad. So, ito, connecting flight na video as requested by, sino ba ang nag-request? Si Ian, Ian Tehar. Ayan Ian John Tihar. Uh, thank you sa... Hindi uh, actually ko naisip yung connecting flight. Tapos, nag-asabi siya, do you, can you do domestic connecting flight travel guide? I'll be traveling from City O to Manila to Coron. Ay! Ano ba? City O to Manila. Ah! Pareho sa ako. Bisaya ka na. City O man. Uh, first time ko po mag-travel. Hey, hey. Okay. Ah! Uh, so I did the same. Actually, going to Coron, I have to fly from Cebu then Manila to Coron. And right now, they have a connecting, connecting direct flight. So way back, uh, let's not talk about years. Uh, way back then, we kami sa Coron. Uh, we have to fly from Cebu to Manila, from Cebu to Manila to Coron. Kasi walang direct flight from Cebu to Coron. Pero ngayon, mayroon na pong direct flight going to. Kuron. So what is a connecting flight? Ano nga ba ang isang connecting flight? Is connecting one flight to one or more flights. Let's say Davao to Cagayan de Oro, then Cagayan de Oro to Cebu, then Cebu, <laughs> grabe no? Cebu to Manila, then Manila to Puerto Princesa. Yun, connect. So hindi wala pong flights na ganun actually guys. Kasi meron naman pong flight from Davao to Manila or Da meron may Davao to Puerto Princesa. Hindi ako sure, pero baka meron. Most likely, meron. So, another example is, for example, sa mom ko, is, Joy, pag uwi niya dito sa Pilipinas, close yung flight sa, from San Francisco to, to um, Korea, South Korea. Uh, so, ang ginawa niya is, from San Francisco, lumipad siya sa Atlanta, nag-tour siya. Dito ang San Francisco, dito ang Atlanta, lumipad siya dito, tapos, andito, 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 <laughs> ang Korea. So, ayun. Nagtumay. Naman mo na siya Korea. Ayun. Nagtour mo na ang mama ko bago siya nakauwi. So, more than I think more or less 30 hours yung flight. A total accommodation niya sa flight sa pag-uwi niya. Kasi close yung mga flights. Kasi nga, nag dahil sa COVID, sa pandemic, when she go to the US or come back home, she usually takes uh, two flights. So, yun ang connecting flight. So, her flight is for example, is Cebu to Hong Kong, then Hong Kong to San Francisco, kasi nasa California yung sister ko. Then, uh, or from San Francisco to Korea, then to Cebu. So, yun po ang connecting flight. So, another example ng connecting flight is, kagayan ng dapat kung gusto gawin, Cebu to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, then layover ng 10 hours, and then Layover meaning stop ka doon ng 10 hours. Andun ka sa Kuala Lumpur for 10 hours. Yun po ay layover. So, from after 10 hours, is lilipad ka na naman to Singapore. Yun po ang gusto kong gawin. Trip ko lang. <laughs> okay. Kahit may direct flight actually from Cebu to Singapore, trip ko lang gawin yun kasi gusto ko lang makita masilip muna ang Kuala Lumpur. Then, that will be my decision making if gusto kong mag-tour sa Malaysia. Kasi, ayun lang. Trip ko lang talaga. <laughs> Sana. So, hindi na ko nagawa kasi ang COVID. Ayun. So, yun po ang connecting flight. So, paano nga ba gagawin ang isang connecting flight? So, basically, a connecting flight is the same process 
sa mga videos na shinare ko sa inyo yung first time flying guide domestic at international same applies you just have to do it at least twice so example let's see si Ian or Ian let's say Ian Ian should I call you Ian okay si example si Ian is since lilipad siya from CDO to Manila so sa CDO magche check in siya pagtapos ng check in is pupunta siya sa kanyang gate pagkatapos niya pumunta sa gate is magboard siya sa aeroplano tapos lilipad siya sa Manila sa so, pagdating niya sa Manila is magche-check in siya ulit sa Manila pupunta siya ulit sa boarding gate sa Manila <laughs> tapos magbo-board na naman siya sa aeroplano pagdating niya sa Manila and then pupunta lilipad naman siya sa Coron yun lang ang gagawin mo actually yun lang uh, twice up uh, you do it twice. So, if the long flights, gawin mo ulit yung pag check in, and saka pag bunta sa boarding gate, at pa saka ka naman ng ulit ng aeroplano. Yung mama ko, ahala niya yung connecting flight na same plane pa rin ang gagamitin. Uh, Kala nila hindi na sila kailangan bumaba, mag-fuel lang, tapos lipat ulit. Hindi po. Uh, Aalis po kayo sa aeroplano na nasasakyan na niyo first. Tapos sasakay po kayo ng ibang aeroplano. So, usually, between flights, for example, is... For example, sa kay Ian, is from uh, CDO to Manila. Example, yung flight niya from CDO is 8 a.m. Dadating siya ng 9 sa Manila. So, usually... The airlines give at least two to three hours for domestic flights, and usually four hours at least. So, so a three hours to four hours difference. Sa international flights. So, example, si Ian is lilipad from eight. Sa CDO, dadating siya na Manila sa nine. So, mga eleven usually eleven, ten, ten is hard. Mga eleven or twelve siguro ang has schedule ng next flight niya. So, so, you're given at least two hours, two, three hours to check in again. From Manila, you check in ka na naman. Uh, gagawin mo namang steps, you're given two to three hours to do that again. Pati ng 9, so 9, 10, 11, 12. So, i-alilis yan ng Manila, papunta ko ron, ng 12. Pero, dapat ka mag-check in agad kasi mag-close yung check encounters about one at least one hour before the flight. Dapat by 11 or 10.30, naka-check in ka na sa next flight mo. So, if it's your first time, I suggest wag ka mo nang pumunta kahit saan saan, mag-stop over, make sure na naka-check in ka at saka makapunta ka sa boarding gate mo. Kasi, mahirap na may iwanan, di ba? Lalo na if sa Manila is, they have four terminals. So, for us, uh, that time na nag-layover ako sa Manila, connecting flight kami, from Cebu to Manila, bumaba kami sa Terminal 4. And then, um, may tumawag sa amin na taga PAL, kasi PAL ang flight namin. From PAL, tinawag kami kasi may mga ba yung bus mismo ng airport ng PAL and on. So, so nag-exit kami sa likod. Hindi kami nag-exit sa, la sa labas. Yeah, tinawag kami. Then, sumakay kami sa bus. And then, dinala kami sa Terminal 3 ata yun. And then, malakay yung Terminal 3. And then, yun, nag-check in naman kami ulit sa Terminal 3. Tsaka, ginawa ko rin yan, ang connecting flight via AirAsia. Uh, mal medyo malayo kasi yung connecting flight namin na parang 4 hours pa ang hihintay namin. So, from ang flight, ang connecting flight namin is Cebu to Manila, then Manila to Puerto Princesa. Kasi back then, uh, I, uh, I'm old. <laughs> so back then, walang, connect, walang direct flight. Uh, right now, there's the direct flight. So, so as for that case ng Cebu to, Cebu to Manila, Manila to Puerto Princesa, is same lang ang terminal na liliparin namin. So, that time, Terminal 4 lang talaga kami. So, dumating kami sa Terminal 4 at saka aalis din kami sa Terminal 4. Pero, 4 hours yung waiting time namin or what it, was it 3 hours? Tapos, maliit lang yung alam namin na kasi ay, we always fly sa pag pupunta kami na Manila. We always, Cebu is always in uh, Terminal 4. So, kaya alam na namin yung Terminal 4. Alam na din namin yung Pasikot-Sikot. So, anyway, 
Ang ginawa namin ni siya kasi since um, maaga yung pagdating namin. It was around 6 a.m. kami dumating sa Manila. So nag-exit kami sa airport then uh, pumunta kami sa across the street. Then um kumain kami sa Jollibee. <laughs> kasi mahal ang pagkain sa airport. Ayun. So pag tapos namin kumain, balik kami sa Terminal 4. Dala-dala namin yung bags and then pasok kami sa ulit sa Terminal 4 and then nag-check in kami ulit. Take note lang po is it is not always na mag-check in ka ulit every time dadating ka sa isang destination. It, it, it depends on the airlines at saka the airport. For example, Cebu to, or for Ian's case is from CDO to Manila to Coron. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-check in ulit sa Manila kasi bibigyan ka na ng boarding pass sa Cebu. I rarely, I did, I I haven't experienced that once dito sa Pilipinas na hindi na ako kailangan mag-check in ulit sa my connecting flight. I always have to check in again. Pero sa ibang bansa at saka ibang airlines, pwedeng ma-check in ka na nila sa next flights mo. Maganda na rin na mag-check in ka ulit sa isang mag-check in ka ulit para practice, lalo na pag first time mo. Practice ka ulit. Practice ka at least ng twice mag-check in. So, para familiar ka na ng steps. Maganda yan kasi pang-experience, kumbaga. So, ngayon kasi, I, I want to discuss this kasi madami ang connecting flights ngayon, lalo na during the pandemic. And they are, uh, there are airports that are closed. There are airports that um, instead of going directly, you, you have to co connect to some other airports. So, I think this is a great topic for this time. So again guys, paano gawin? Ang connecting flight is basically do it twice. Pero again, there are times na pwede na hindi ka na kailangan mag-check in ulit. Pero paano mo malalaman na hindi mo na kailangan mag-check in ulit? Malalaman mo na hindi mo na kailangan mag-check in ulit pag binigyan ka ng more than one na boarding pass. For example, uh, pag check-in ni Ian sa Cagayan de Oro, binigyan siya ng boarding pass ng para flight ng uh, Cagayan de Oro to Manila at saka ng boarding pass ng Manila to Coron. So, pag binigyan ka na ng boarding pass, dalawang boarding pass, or at least dalawang boarding pass kasi pwede tatlo or more than connecting flights. Pag binigyan ka na ng boarding pass, isa sa mga flights mo, hindi mo na kailangan mag-check in ulit kasi may boarding pass. Punta ka na agad sa iyong boarding gate. As for your bags, that's a different story kasi depende din yan sa airline at saka airport. So, what you will do is ask your airline. So, again, basically, twice mo gagawin or at least twice. Or at least twice mo gagawin ang isang connecting flight kasi it can be two flights, three flights. Sa mom ko is three flights is from, ah no, four. No, it's from San Francisco to Atlanta. Then Atlanta to Korea. Then Korea to Cebu. Ah, tatlong. Tatlong flights kinawa niya. So, yun. Nakakapagod siya. <laughs> Kasi more than 30 hours ka on air. And then, ikot-ikot ka sa airport. So, yun lang. So, if you have any questions about connecting flights, if nakakalito ako, I'm sorry. This is my third video shot of the day. And it's already 10 p.m. So, <laughs> mencha. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, if you have any questions, please don't be shy. Ayaw mo ka uwa, wag pa kayo mahiya. Mag-comment, mag-ask sa comment section below. And please be nice to one another. Please be nice in asking questions. Please be nice to me. I'm trying to be nice. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. And again, please don't forget to uh, ask your questions like, down in the comment section below. And Ian, good luck. I hope, I know this video is too late, but uh, happy trip. For those who are taking the next flight, enjoy your flight. Bye.